Hello, I'm Charles Vanderpool, the editor and translator of the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to our new analytical lexicon of the Apostolic Bible Polyglot in print. The analytical lexicon can be downloaded from our website, apostolicbible.com, for a minimal fee, or you can purchase our Apostolic Bible Polyglot CD-ROM which contains the analytical lexicon, among other things. But we now offer the analytical lexicon in book form. Here it is right here. The book is 425 pages in length, and it's printed on quality paper. It has a nice glossy cover. I hope you can see uh, the layout there with the columns and the words with the AB strong numbering system. Well, you might ask, what is an analytical lexicon and why do I need one? Well, the Apostolic Bible Polyglot, ABP, on various Bible software sites, is a numerically coded Greek Old and New Testament with auxiliary works, the lexical concordance, the English Greek index, and the analytical lexicon, all coded to the same AB strong numbering system. So let's start with opening a King James Bible to Luke 22:31, which reads, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Now let's open the Apostolic Bible Polyglot to the same location, which reads, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to sift you all as grain. If I hadn't included the word all in italics, and you only saw the Greek word emas, and didn't know Greek, you wouldn't know if the word was singular or plural. But with the analytical lexicon, you could look up the word emas with the number 1473 above it, and you'd find that that Greek word was plural. So the Lord, although addressing Simon, wasn't speaking only to him, but to all that were there. So what happens when you see a word and you want to acquire more information on it? Now we'll open an analytical lexicon PDF file which is identical to the printed page and will show to you what no other analytical lexicon offers. For all other analytical lexicons are completely alphabetical and unless you knew Greek well it would be difficult for you to find any word. Now here's page 112 of the analytical lexicon and you can uh, see the number 1473. It's in numerical order and it'll show you that it's a pronoun, a personal pronoun. It even tell you what type of pronoun and the pronoun is for I. In English, ego, we have the word ego from the Greek word is in the nominative singular. This first line is the lemma word. This is the dictionary word that you would find in a Greek dictionary. So if you wanted to find any of these words in a Greek dictionary, you just go to the lemma word, the first one, and that's the spelling you would find in the dictionary. Just as in English, you wouldn't find all the spellings of every verb or adjective. And so now we are at that word that we were looking at, but we're looking for emas, and we'll don't see it on this page, so we'll continue going down. And over here, there it is, emas. We see that it's an accusative. That means that that word is the object of a sentence. Second person plural means you plural, more than one person. So therefore, Jesus was not speaking only to Simon, but to all the people that were present. So with the analytical lexicon, you can find things like this. Uh, you'll see that there are like verbs and it'll give the uh, conjugation of the verbs or it'll have nouns and you'll have a conjugation of uh, the declensions of the nouns, particles, uh, prepositions, uh, no, prep uh, prepositions, adjective, there's an adjective, and so forth. There's really nothing like the analytical lexicon of the Apostolic Bible because like I mentioned, all other analytical lexicons are completely alphabetic, but the uh, analytical lexicon for the Apostolic Bible is coded to the AB Strong 
numbering system only found on uh, the Apostolic Bible system. It corresponds to the lexical concordance and the Greek-English index, which are both found in the back of the printed edition and also can be downloaded for a minimal amount of our website and is also are found on the CD-ROM. So I hope you'll consider the analytical lexicon for your reference library. I think you'll really enjoy it and find it useful in your study of God's worth if you're delving into the word at this level in the Greek. And uh, hope you'll try us out and also try the Apostolic Bible Polyglot on our bookstore. And we'll see you. God bless.